Hey everyone, it's time for some positivity cards. I hope everybody's well. I'm a little tired today. My body clock's a bit buggered up. It's like half past eleven. <laughs> I'm proper late today. I think I've been up for about half an hour. I know. <laughs> There's lots of things been going on lately, so. I've been having lots of time to recover as well, so get my energies back. Alright, universe, what would you like us to concentrate on today? What should we concentrate on today? guided by my inner wisdom very much so um, I know that there's a few other people that are um, when it says inner wisdom it's it's knowing your instincts knowing your intuition um, all those things that you've learned over your life good and bad um, you know um, especially for me um, I have a lot of wisdom about people in general, um, just from what I've observed going through my life, um, and I can make valid decisions on, on what who, who somebody is, you know, whether I should let them in my life, or whether I should keep them away because they're going to do me harm, and I don't mean physical harm, yes there could be chances of that, but, but for me it's mental harm, um, that is my biggest um, downfall really um, that's what screws me up that's what stops me functioning as a person um, somebody else getting into my head and basically like sticking a fork in and just going me it's what it feels like <laughs> um, so yeah when it comes to any wisdom it's not just you know what you've learned at school and things like that it's what you've learned over your lifetime um, the lessons that you learn about people and yourself um, and that was what makes you an old soul apparently as well <laughs> um, you know you've, you've learnt the lessons um, the right ones and you can move forward for life uh, it's when you get stuck um, that you keep repeating patterns the same toxic patterns that there's something wrong that you need to stand back and, and look at uh, okay so why is this happening I know it's not me doing it what's happening um, and you'll, you will find that it's because of toxic influences and somebody's keeping you in that same cycle of negativity which in turn keeps you in the same cycle of negativity um, you know there is a knock on effect and it's not very good um, now a positive mind will give a positive life I'm sure this will come up the other day as well um, so yeah keep your thoughts positive um, I know it sounds daft um, yeah, right, Kaz. Yeah, don't be deaf. No, it, it does help. Positive thoughts um, stimulate positive hormone release. Um, you know, negative thoughts, stress. You know, it, it it triggers the stress hormone to be released, which stops the brain functioning. Um, so you know, a positive mind, um, a healthy mind. Um, one that can function day to day, you know, without just wanting to shut down. Um, I find when mine shuts down, I, I really just want to sleep. And it's not just for like, um, what, 12 hours or 24 hours, it, it's days. Um, I just want to shut the world out when my head's like that. And it's not a nice place to live, it really isn't being trapped inside your head. Not being able to function like a normal human being. Um, so yeah, positivity, it, it really is a great thing for your brain to experience. Um, especially if you've been stuck in such a negative situation for so long, your brain naturally just functions in that. Um, and it needs to learn to stop using that as its first method of function. It, it needs to be balanced out. Um, and it is possible. I never thought it was possible, but here I am today. Hello. <laughs> um, 
Um, yeah, um, my brain has been quite, well, to me, strange at the moment. It feels very strange, you know, because I, I, I've never been able to experience this before for so long. You know, I've had my little sort of like a few days or a week most or, you know, of, of good mental attitude. But then, you know, toxic people get involved and it all goes back down to stress hormones and, and yeah. But now my brain's had time to take stock. Um, and I've only been focusing on positive things in my life, things that make me happy. Um, obviously, I've, I've had to do things that don't make me happy, but you know that's the course of life. You know that there is going to be things that you're not going to like doing, but you have to do them. Um, you know, I've still been doing those things, but you know I've been doing them a lot easier because um, the rest of my time is spent trying to keep a positive mental attitude, um, whether it be with music or laughter or meditation or, you know, the list goes on, you know, um, therapies, baths, you know, whatever makes you happy, go out and walk in nature, go and have a swim in the sea or the river or something like that, you know, go and do the things that you enjoy, you know, just sitting in the garden for five minutes, <laughs> you know, it's getting out there and it makes you feel like, <sighs> and you can come back in and it's a different sort of attitude with your, with your head. You know, I've even stayed away from social media, um, even contacting people, you know, even my loved ones like my daughter, um, it, I just need the, that time away from my head to get to know what it was like to be normal. Um, and it does feel strange, very strange, but I'm enjoying it very much so. Uh, third card, I have the grace I need today. <sighs> I need some grace today, believe me. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm going up to my daughters today, but um, yeah, just by grace, I suppose it, it's doing things, just being yourself and, and letting yourself be yourself. Um, and, oh, I've got some flies in here. I don't know if you just saw that. <laughs> Little buggers they've got in. I, I need to sort them out. They do my head in. I keep seeing them flying past there. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, just being nice to yourself and carrying it on out into the world and just letting yourself flow um, with all the grace you need. Uh, just be you. Um, that's all the universe wants. You know, the real you, the soul level you, um, the kind you, the generous you, the happy you, you know, the one that helps others, the one that makes other people laugh, you know. Even just saying hello to someone and smiling, it, it, it's passing on good energy. Um, and I know there's going to be some people out there that look at you and think, nutter, <laughs> what is she smiling at, you know, or something like that. Um, you know, those sorts of people, that that's not a good energy, so you, you, you just laugh. <laughs> laugh to yourself, not at them. You laugh to this, yourself because you go, yeah, okay, I recognise who you are, so I won't be smiling at you again. A little bit, I might do, just to... <laughs> Just to make me feel good and and have you question my sanity again, um, you know, it's, it's a lesson that they need to learn. Not everybody's a, a nutter just because you get smiled at, um, or not everybody's coming on to you just because you get smiled at. You know, the, there are separate reasons. You know, just somebody passing on a lovely smile. It's a it's a nice bit of energy to pass on to someone, um, especially when you're out and about. You know, you know, you don't know what these people are going through as you walk past them. So, you know, if you make eye contact, I, it's just something that I naturally do. If I make eye contact, I smile. Um, I don't know if that's like a de defence mechanism from being a child, um, being an abused child. Um, you know, it's like my sense of humour. I've put that down to... Um, yeah, that was happy. I've put that down to um, the abuse and it was like a defence mechanism. So people would laugh instead of be angry. You know, try and diffuse the situation. It's the same as a smile, it diffuses the situation. Um, it can, it's just a nut, well, it, nice people sort of like smile back instantly because they're the same, you know, it's reciprocated. Um, you can sort of like see a person's mood. I mean, they might not be a toxic person, they might just be really, really upset. I mean, and then if you do get a smile back, it's a slightly different smile. Um, it's one with sad eyes. Um, 
this is the sort of things that I pick up on um, just pe people's facial expressions um, and that is something that I have um, had to well, something that's developed since, since early childhood with, with div, um, the abuse it's part of it um, it's part of the hypervigilance you know constant watching out for danger and it got that um, dangerous for me I had to watch facial express expressions um, know when somebody was angry um, know by the tone of their voice um, if, you know how they was feeling um, so yeah I pick up on those little things I might not realize what they were at the time but now I do yeah um, and yeah I, I see it out uh, everywhere even in the streets with strangers and things like that I pick it up pick up their energy but yeah I don't know what I was talking about then <laughs> I've buffled on onto something else but anyway yes we have three cards today so pick one and focus on one um, I mean you don't have to focus on all of them um, but there we go we do have some of these in other, re in, in other daily messages but um, yeah uh, I was thinking about actually I've got some other cards um, I did a reading, my first reading online actually, um, thank you Jane, <laughs> it was a wonderful reading, um, I did some cards for Jane and they were the Soul Journey cards, now these are like lessons about your own soul, um, they are very different, they, they are nice. Um, it's 44 cards, that's the outside, and they go through all sorts of different topics. Now, I know it says guilt, but it doesn't actually mean, well, I'll read what it says underneath, because you, you see that, oh good, guilt, I'm, I must be suffering with guilt. Um, it's on about, well yeah, if you are, um, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's grace, and then there's something in the book about it as well, so, um, I mean, regret. Uh, I know that I cannot change the past. You know, we all regret that we can't change certain things of our life. We all know that we all feel guilt, a false guilt from a narcissist. You know, um, we feel guilty for walking away from people that have hurt us. Um, but that's not because we should feel guilty, it's because that's the way they make us feel. You know, um, there's you should have no guilt from walking away from a toxic person and certainly no regret um i used to have regret from for staying very much so um because i'd be guilt tripped into staying <laughs> staying as a friend staying as a partner um staying in the vicinity you know um whether that be the text or online or or in the neighborhood you know um, so yeah, little things like that, I think these cards would be very nice. Um, it just, with the little read-ups that's in, in the books as well, it just gives you like a little insight in how you can help yourself move forward. Um, just in very many ways, um, there's, there's one that says purpose, you know. There's one for honesty, I can't always, always expect the truth from others, but I expect the I expect it from myself, you know, always be honest and open with yourself. That's where healing starts. Um, when you lie to yourself, oh no, this isn't going on, or I don't, you know, this, no, I, I'm not going to recognise the triggers, it's not because of this, it's not because of that. That's when you get stuck. Um, and you start blaming yourself, you start blaming everything else. Um, uh, but you don't start blaming the real reasons. Um, so many different things um, that you, you know you don't want to open yourself up to. Um, but deep down, you know the truth. You know, um, and it's just moving on from that. Um, anyway, I've buffled on for 15 minutes now, but I think I will do a little read of a, a little. Um, yeah, a little reading on these. I couldn't think of the word then. Um, I think they'd be quite nice just for people to help people um, come to terms with a lot of things about themselves and their environments and things. I mean, I, I use them very much so, um, and I've used them for other people's readings as well, and they find them quite helpful. So, yeah. Um, 
because I am guided by my inner wisdom, I think it would be a good idea. <laughs> okay. Ah, just seen the bottom card, the last card. I am doing my best, and that is always enough. That's all you can do. And that's all you can do. If anybody expects you to do more than you can do, then they're expecting. <laughs> They're expected just the world from everything. Um, yeah, and it's not good to have those people around you. But anyway, yes, 15 minutes gone. Thank you everybody for watching, um, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing, commenting. Um, yeah, thank you for all your beautiful support. It's just amazing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'll be doing today. Um, like I said, I'm a bit knackered. Um, but I think we'll get, I'm going up to my daughter's a bit later on. I think I've got to wait for her to deliver first. So maybe do a, a bit of exercise or something. I don't know. It depends if I can wake up after a cup of coffee. Because I'm still quite asleep. <laughs> but right, I shall let you all go. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye, everyone.